I welcome you back to the last part of chapter 5. Here we will discuss all the map related query. Children, let's first observe the map and then we'll find the answer for the following question. Before we begin, let's have a glance at the map. We can see five types of forest in the map along with the index. The one which we can see in the dark green color is the evergreen forest. Evergreen forest is found in the northern part of India, also in the northeastern part, western ghat, some parts of the eastern coastal areas and Andaman and Nicobar islands. The one which we see in yellow color is the deciduous forest. So you can see maximum area of a country is occupied by deciduous forest. Thorny shrub which is shown in the light brown color occupying the area of Gujarat, Rajasthan, some part of Madhya Pradesh, the rain shadow regions of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and also Tamil Nadu. Himalayan forest, the one in white color you can see on the northern part of India and also in the northeastern part of India. And the last one is the coastal forest which we can see in the blue color which is basically found in the eastern part of India. By this time you have understood the types of forests. Let's have a look at the questions. Which forests are found in the western snow cap region? It is Himalayan forest. The Himalayan forests are found in the western snow cap region. That is why you can see snowfall is there. Second, on which coast do you mainly find the coastal vegetation? I told you the one in blue color is occupying the eastern part of a country. So the coastal vegetation is mainly found in the western coast. Which type of forest occupy maximum area in India and what is the reason for that? The maximum area of a country is occupied by deciduous forest because it receives a rainfall between 1000 mm to 2000 mm. The last question, where do we find thorny and shrub vegetation? They are found in the area which receives less than 500 mm of rainfall. That is the rain shadow region. Mark the following in the outline map of Brazil with the given information. Already it is marked children. Let us have a look. The areas or the forest in Brazil is equatorial forest, tropical grassland, swampy land, hot deciduous forest, thorny shrubs and the temperate grassland. Let us have a look in the map. The number one which we can see is the equatorial forest which is occupying the area, the maximum area of Brazil and it comes in the Amazon rainforest or the Amazon river basin. The number two which is in blue color is the tropical grassland also called as savanna is occupying the Brazilian island. The number three is a swampy land or the marshy area which is called Pantanal which is marked in brown color. Number four is hot deciduous forest and you can see this is the great escarpment area. Thorny shrubs number five which is in Katinga the eastern part of Brazil. The last one is a temperate grassland which is in the southernmost part of Brazil, which is called as Pampas. I think you all can mark the different types of forests in Brazil. Mark the following on the map of India with the given information. Is already marked children. Here we are going to mark Bengal tiger, lion, great Indian bustard, Gangetic Dolphin, Olive Ridley Turtle, Swam Deers, One Horn Rhino, Nilgirita Hercoat and the Garyal. 
let us have a look number 1 bengal tiger is found in the coastal areas of west bengal which is also called as sundarban number 2 is lion which you can see on the west side of our country that is in gujarat the gir forest in gujarat number 3 the great indian bustard is found in rajasthan fourth one the gangetic dolphin is found in uttar pradesh that is in river ganga number 5 olive ridley turtle is found in the coastal areas of odisha let's see number 6 that is the swam deer in assam number 7 one horned rhino is also found in assam number 8 is a nilgiri tahar goat which is found in tamil nadu and the last one is a garial which is also called as gavial it is almost like a alligator and it is found in the swampy areas or deltic regions of west bengal which is also called as sundarban so we can see bengal tiger and garial are found in the deltic regions that is in sundarban children you can use your own signs and symbol you can also make use of color pencil to mark the map and you can make it more attractive important tiger reserves in india there are nearly 50 tiger reserves in india we are going to see only 10 the 10 important tiger reserve show the habitats of tigers in india with the names on the map the first is the jim corbett you can see in uttarakhand second is rantambore in rajasthan kajiranga in assam bandipur in karnataka periyar in kerala sundarban in west bengal apart from that you can see three important national res reserves in madhya pradesh one is panha kanha and also bandogarh in andhra pradesh we can find the tiger reserve which is called as nag arjuna sagar shri salam why is the habitat found in this region because of various types of forest and also different types of herbivorous animal herbivorous animal is a food of the carnivorous animal and the national animal of india tiger is a carnivorous animal colors of both you can see it is given in your textbook page number 36 certain questions are asked let us see the answers for that in which country do equatorial forests occupy a greater area what should be the reason behind it equatorial forests occupy a greater area in brazil this is because the equator passes through the northern part of brazil the climate is generally hot and it receives rainfall throughout the year which type of forests are found in india are not found in brazil i think children you might have noticed it is a himalayan forest we india is been gifted with himalaya so himalayan forests are found in india and not in brazil which type of forest found in brazil are found in india too so it is the evergreen forest the deciduous forest and the thorny vegetation which are found both in india and brazil in which country a greater diversity of vegetation is found what is the reason behind it the greater vegetation is found in brazil because here they have got a equatorial climate ample sunlight heavy rainfall and also vast forest in which country will forest based occupation flourish since we have seen equatorial forest and the vast forest is in brazil so you can see forest based occupation can flourish in brazil rock shifting agriculture or shifting cultivation is called as roca in brazil 
here land and its forest is cleared by cutting and burning you can see there are three slides shown over here children the one you can see the first one here the trees are cut in the second slide you can see they are burnt once this is done you can see the land gets cleared and then it is used for cultivation so this type of agriculture is called roca in brazil and india it is known by different name let us let us have a look in which parts of india agriculture practices like roca is found and by what names are they called jhum in assam meghalaya manipur and nagaland shifting agriculture is called as dhaiya in madhya pradesh in rajasthan it is called valre odisha it is called as bringa kurwa in jharkhand kumura in the western ghat that is some part of maharashtra goa karnataka and in andhra pradesh shifting cultivation is called as podu i hope my children have understood all the map related queries keep watching thank you